Hey guys and gals, one of my favorite operators, Beeswax, is here. Her one is pretty straightforward. It looks a bit daunting when you first go through it, but other than that, it's okie dokie. So this is my Beeswax just for reference sake. Trust 200%, E250, uh, P5, and we have one mastery skill on both of our skills. We will be using skill two, so please make note of that. Uh, you don't need that mastery skill, but it certainly helps with timing. Uh, so you may need to use skills a little quicker than you normally would, but there's sort of kind of only one time you can really use them. Um, so it's really going to be one of those things where you sort of may need to adapt a little, but the general idea is always going to be the same. So if this helps you guys out, please like and subscribe. Helps me get in the algorithm algorithm yeah and check out my twitch on monday because that is when i stream up nights on twitch uh so tune in there Tukinogi in first facing across to the right and beeswax in that is because beeswax has this wonderful little shield uh, i think it's in the talent there it is restores four percent max health per second when she is not using a skill so she is a great tank So we're basically just going to let this go the whole time. This is very straightforward, as I said. We have our first real enemy here, this Dockyard Worker. And then we're going to use Ace's skill, because I want to get rid of this enemy here. Because he is just a really odd... He's like the one enemy that doesn't count, come out on the right timer. And then we're going to go whack and block him up. From there, I'll fast forward, and I'll let this play itself out. So, no matter what happens, Beeswax should cycle every time one of the dock workers come out. So you shouldn't have too much issue. Um, we can keep using Haze's skill, because obviously Beeswax is going to continue to tank, so Beeswax losing all of our health is not going to hurt. Whack that totem down straight away. Perfect. So obviously while these guys stop to shoot the totem that's down, it also sort of plumps them all up as you can see. As you can see, Beeswax takes no real damage from these enemies, so I'm not too concerned. Sukunogi Beeswax again to get rid of all these enemies. And by the time the next big group comes out, Beeswax should be ready for the last one. So I'm going to use Haze's skill early here to try and get as much damage on this guy as I can ahead of time. And wait until he gets halfway across. Whack that skill down. That is it, guys. So as I said, it's pretty straightforward, but it comes down to timing. Um, it doesn't really matter what mastery level you're at. It just makes it a little bit more comfortable going through. So I hope that helps.